want to know how your data travels from its origin to the destination, how it gets transformed while traveling through the various cloud services, especially in the context of data engineering and this modern world where we have huge data coming out of the disparate sources, I think knowing the lineage of your data is of utmost importance and can serve a great value to your business. So let's come and explore the solution we have created for SAME. This is the architecture of our solution for end-to-end -end data lineage. We are extracting the lineage out of various Azure services, parsing and feeding all into Microsoft Purview and other endpoints as well. Now, in this data pipeline, Rajesh will cover the demo of Spark Lineage for Synapse called Sparklin and then reporting layer that is the Power BI and AS Lineage called Tompo will be covered by Tushar. So handing over to Rajesh here. Let's get started with the Synapse Spark Lineage, how we have extracted it. This is one of the sample notebook which we have used for our demo purpose. In this notebook, we have tried to cover as much as scenarios how we have extracted and pushed into the purview. Now, if you look at this notebook, there are so many examples which we have integrated. So there is a view which have been created by using create or replace. And there are views which we have created using SQL. And we have also used insert statements which we will be loading into the target table. And we have performed merge statement as well on the delta table. Now, each of the view, whatever it has got created, it has lot of transformations which are performed on the columns. As you can see, there are many transformations which have been applied. And if you can see here, there are lot of joins which have been performed on the different delta tables and the intermediate tables which have been used. Now, this whole sort of information we have parsed using our Sparkling Custom Accelerator and we have pushed into the purview lineage. Now, this delta table, whatever we have created, is finally transformed into a CSV file, which in later part we will be covering up and it is being used for our Power BI dashboards. Now let's come and see how this whole notebook has been converted into the lineage. Now in this purview, you can see that many of the Azure services has been automatically scanned. Now anything which you want to push outside of the service, we will be using Atlas API and it will be coming under the custom source types. Now this whole notebook, as you can see here, the lineage has been converted and it has been depicting like this. Now the fact CRM incident has been coming from different intermediate tables, which you can see from the left hand side. And you can see there are many assets which have been coming from the origin till to the target. Now I will show you how the columns are been available in each of the section and what are all the properties which we have extracted and which have been present in the process part. Now, if you look at here, the fact CRM incident has also created the CSV file and which is clearly visible in the lineage for you. <clears throat> now you can see this is the column section which has having the input set of columns and there are also the output columns which we can drill and drop down by using this output data sets. Apart from that, as I have shown you in the notebook, there are many transformations applied on the columns and also there are many joining conditions which have been performed on different delta tables, right? So if I go to the property section of the process and you will be able to see all the input tables and the output tables and also the hard coded columns which are all having different transformations and the joining conditions which are performed on the delta tables as well as the intermediate tables. Now in the input tables, we have segregated what are all the delta, what are all the intermediate and what are all the views. Now you can see the sections which are clearly presented in the property section. Apart from this data, whatever we have pushed in this purview, we have also extracted and pushed into the Azure table storage as well. Now the same information which is available in the purview is been pulled and pushed into the Azure table storage which is having all that information and utilize it for our data analytic purposes. Now we will be deep diving into the lineage which will be used for data modeling and reporting purpose. The dashboard that you see on my screen is the Tompo dashboard. Tompo dashboard gives you a holistic and a comprehensive summary of the data model 
and the different Power BI reports which are being built on the top of the data model. The model in this case can either be a Power BI data set or it can be an Azure Analysis Services model. I would like to understand or I would like to make you understand the Tompo dashboard with the help of a simple example. So let's start with CRM underscore fact incident table, which was populated in the previous uh, explanation that you saw. So let's select this particular table, CRM underscore fact incident. You can see that the table is being populated from uh, the data lake and the name of the CSV from where this entity is being populated is fact underscore CRM incident dot CSV. Along with this, you will also get the names of all the measures which are being built on top of this entity. You will not only see the measures, but you will also see the definitions of the measures. On the right hand side, you will also see the different attributes which are which belong to this particular table. And you can see like there are around 42 attributes which are a part of this particular table. You can also have a fair understanding about the data types of the different attributes in this particular table. Last but not the least, we can also see the data model behind the scenes. So if you expand this particular view, you can see how CRM underscore fact incident table is being related to the different dimension tables in your data model. If you are someone who would like to understand the relationship of CRM underscore fact incident table with the other tables, you can pretty well visit this section where you will get a fair understanding about the cardinality, whether it is a one to one join or whether it is a many to one join. Now, with this, you would also like to understand the usage of this particular entity, attribute, or measure in the different reports which are there in your Power BI workspace. So welcome to the impact view page, which gives you a left to right view of the lineage in your data model. So I would like to make you understand this particular section with the help of two different measures. So if you can see that right now we have two different measures selected over here, that is case volume and total hire. Over here from the left hand side, you can see the first thing that we have is the name of the data model. On top of this data model, we have this particular entity, which is CRM underscore fact incident. On this entity, there are multiple Power BI reports which have been created. So if you can have a look over here, there are three different Power BI reports which have been created on top of this particular entity. Within this Power BI report, there are multiple Power BI pages. And each of this page is basically using the case volume measure. Similarly, we have also selected another measure for the sake of the demo that is total hire and you can see that total hire measure is something which is getting sourced from hr insights model and on top of the hr insight uh, within the hr insights model we have the fact new entity and on top of the fact new entity we have these two different power bi reports and within this power bi uh, uh, within this different power bi reports we have this different power bi pages and eventually we can see the total hire measure is being used over here. Not only this, if you also want to understand the impact and do an impact analysis of the different columns which are being used in this particular uh, utility, you can pretty well go and select the columns from this particular section. Now let's come to the end of this demo by having a look at the end-to-end -end lineage in the Azure purview. So the lineage that you see over here basically shows you how the particular fact underscore CRM dot CSV is being used in one HRSA model. And on top of this one HRSA model, which are those different Power BI reports that we have created. And not only this, we also show the different measures which are being used in this particular Power BI report. You can easily navigate onto the left hand side to see the lineage till the actual source. 